Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, son. My family. Mom, dad, brothers, sisters, all of them. Great. Well, thank you. We got so many things to play for you tonight.
As I said, it took a long time to do an album between Dehumanizer and the one we're going to uh, do for you now. A song from the album called The Devil You Know. This is a great song. We hope you like it. I think you do. I think you will. It's called Bible Black. This one.
from now you'll all look old and horrible and we'll still be young <laughs> I doubt that one too right? anyway we're doing this together history in the making for us tonight great uh, this track is uh, uh, this is from the dehumanizer album again we do a few of those because we like that album so much thank you man thank you this is about the great big clock that revolves and goes round and round and round in the sky and, leads you to where you're going to go and to where we've just become. We'll do this song for you now. It is called Time Machine.
Then, once again from the album, as you know, this one's called Fear. Well, Fear of Loudness. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We should like to do this one first. This is a song we wrote uh, 
quite a long time ago. Uh, it kind of told uh, you and us at that time uh, what, what state that this, this earth was in. And all these years later, it's kind of still in the same state, not getting a lot better. But the good part is that uh, we've got you, and you have us, and we have the music together. That's always been the most important part. So thank you for that. We'll do the song anyway. It's not as desperate as it sounds. Let's hope we're not doing this. This is falling off the edge of the world.
you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, guys. Is everything okay out there? Not that good. Yeah? Good, 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 great. Good up here, too. A bit loud, too. Thank you, thank you. Once again, we should like to do another track for you from the newest album, From the Devil You Know. Uh, this song about uh, tears falling everywhere. And if you uh, kind of look where they're going, you might see all of us. Because all you have to do is follow the tears.
Thank you. This one's from the album The Heaven and Hell. There's so many great songs from that album. Can't do them all, but we certainly chose to this, this one. Great song. This one gives me a chance to introduce to you someone that you've known all of your rock and roll and heavy metal life. That is the greatest guitar player on earth, Mr. Tony Iommi. Tony! And this is Die Young. Let's plant the tree, to be locked away and still to be. 
so much we decided to name the band after this song and so i guess you know what it might be sing along if you choose and we know you will this is heaven and hell
But the sooner you know that you've been dreaming And it goes on and on and on It's heaven and hell You don't want to hear the same thing every time It's never a maker And the less that you give Why, you're a taker And it goes on
He said, the heaven is where you ought to be. And he said, come with me, as I know just what to do. And I said, go away, I'm going to burn in hell with you.
Thank you so much, thank you. Yes, of course I'll do another song for you guys. You're a great, great audience. Thank you so much for tonight. A really, really, really. Can't wait to play for you again. Thanks everyone, thank you so much. Okay? Whatever we do, we do. Tom?
Uh, when we started doing uh, in the process for the um, the Dio Years album, um, it started with Tony and I meeting uh, at, at the hotel I was staying in uh, when we were doing a Dio some Dio shows in uh, in Britain, and we were in Birmingham, which is the hometown of you know all of the Sabbath guys really, and so Tony came to the hotel and the first thing we did was drink a beer, as always, uh, and it was uh, it was as though we had seen each other the day before. It had been ten years. But we've always been really such good friends, and all the things that you hear about us having problems, and really not true. Um, so we talked over a beer and decided that you know it would be a good thing to do and where we would do it, which was at Tony's studio in Birmingham. I finished the tour. We came back uh, to, uh, to Tony's studio, and then we just did as we always do. Tony had a riff. Uh, I had a riff. We started that way and just wrote everything well, they asked us for two songs. We wrote three songs because it was so easy and so quick. And uh, it was, as I say, it was just instant uh, um, rapport one more time. Uh, so the, the process was easy. The, I think the hardest part was saying, yes, we will do this. I don't think any of us had any doubts about what we were about to do. Uh, we, be, we were asked by the record company to do this uh, because we, we, like they, did not want to have just uh, material that, you know, that people had heard already from a live concert somewhere. They're all the same. It, it wasn't special. And I think we all wanted it to be special. But we had no plans to do anything else, not to tour, not to do another album, not to do anything like that. It was only going to be for that project. And it was important for, for both of us because we wanted any legacy that we have or that we had at that point uh, to be a good one. Uh, so, uh, no, we wanted to do that. We only talked about the problems that we had and the breaks up, breakups that we had, which have been, uh, you know, as you said, have been uh, two, and this is like really the third time we've been together. Uh, we only talked about it the first time we got back together again when we did the album Dehumanizer. Uh, there were a lot of stupid things that happened at that point. Um, too many drugs and too many people listening to too many other stupid people. And, uh, you know, th those kind of things cloud your mind. Bad, bad things in your system cloud your mind. Um, I must tell you, though, that I wasn't doing the drugs, so you can decide that one for yourself. But but we talked about that, that a lot of accusations were made, a lot of horrible things were said about, um, you know, about myself and Vinny, that we had been doing things in the in the mixing sessions that were, that meant we were turning up the drums and the vocal, and it was all just so absolutely stupid. So when we did get back together, you know, Tony and Giza both said, oh, I'm sorry, we, you know, we didn't really know what was going on. We listened to a fool, and we believed a fool because of what was, you know, what they were doing to themselves, I think. Uh, so we did, yes, we did talk about it, but only very briefly. Uh, we never dwelled upon it at all. I think the more you talk about it and the more you want to get apologies for something, I think the quicker you will break up again. Uh, and this time, no, not a, not a word. We never said anything about that at all. You know, why did it happen? It happened, and we made the conscious decision to get back together again, so why should we, why should we have to you know, hit each other with what happened in the past? This is the future, so not the second time. No, we didn't talk about it. Name Heaven and Hell is a name that we took for this band mainly because we wanted it not to be confused with what came before it. Uh, because for the last, well, 12 years before we started to do this, which was now almost three years ago, uh, Tony and Geezer were playing, and Bill Ward were playing with Ozzy in a band called Black Sabbath once again. And uh, the songs that they played were songs that, of course, that we played early on when we did the Heaven and Hell album. And we did them because we only had one album ourselves, so we had to play other things. Now we have a lot of albums, so we can be what we are. We wanted to uh, m have no confusion between what that band was and what this band is. We do songs that start with the Heaven and Hell album, which was only the songs that Tony and I and Geezer and Bill on one album and Vinny on all the rest wrote together. And we wanted to stop this 
hey, play Iron Man. Well, we don't have to do that anymore because they know what we are. We are not calling ourselves Black Sabbath, so there is no confusion. And I think everyone knows when they hear the words heaven and hell, music people, they always say, oh, that's the song Black Sabbath did. So it's a very strong connection between what we are and what we were and what we are going to become. So I think it just, it just stops all the confusion about, uh, about the Black Sabbath name and now we are heaven and hell.